Tesla have just revealed a new patent and it's very, very interesting because it solves one of the problems of full self-driving and not just one of the problems Tesla cars have faced, but all manufacturers have been facing this. And it's the blind spot of autonomy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Imagine you're in a Tesla cybercab cruising through downtown Austin at sunset or anywhere in the world at sunset. There's no steering wheel, no pedals, just you and the machine. Suddenly, the low-hanging sun hits the camera lens at the perfect angle. For a human, what would you do, right? You've done it many times before. You'd pull down the visor or put on your sunglasses or you'd squint. But for a vision-only car, that glare is a data killer. It leads to phantom braking or the dreaded red hands takeover. Now, guys, I've got to tell you, I've tested more than 50 electric cars this whole um, phantom braking thing, a lot of Tesla owners think it's just Teslas. It is not. <laughs> they, they all do it. So if you haven't seen phantom braking in your car, you just haven't seen the light at the right angle yet. It will happen. It's inevitable. They all do it. Tesla has just filed a patent that proves they are, well, they're basically attacking this problem with high-tech physics. We're talking about micro cones here. Vanta black coatings and get this motorized camera eyelids. Today, let's have a look at how Tesla is re engineering the physical world to make full self driving much better than what it is already. So, the physics of glare to understand why this patent actually does matter, and it does, you've got to understand why current cameras fail sometimes. Most camera housings are just flat pieces of black plastic. In optics, we look at total hemispherical reflectance or THR. Even a matte black surface when hit by light at a shallow grazing angle becomes a mirror. This reflected light washes out the sensor creating noise in the data. If the car can't see the lane lines because it's looking at a reflection of its own housing, the AI starts to guess, and it doesn't like doing that. As we know, guessing in a two-ton vehicle is not a good idea. Tesla's patent, titled Cone Textured Glare Shield, is, a design, is designed to drop the THR to near zero and solve this problem. Now, when I say it's a problem, guys, within the last month, I've experienced this problem in four different models of cars, four different ones within the last month. And I don't really drive all that much. There's some people who drive all the time. I'm not one of those people. The micro cone light trap. How do you stop light from bouncing? You trap it. Tesla is proposing covering the internal camera housing with a 3D array of micro cones. Think about the acoustic foam in a recording studio that deadens sound. Tesla is doing that for light, though, on a microscopic scale. These cones, they're between 0.65 millimeters and 2 millimeters high, with incredibly sharp tips. When light enters the forest of cones, it doesn't bounce back out. It gets scattered between the walls of the cones until the energy is completely dissipated. To make it even more extreme, Tesla suggests coating these cones in an ultra black carbon nanotube paint, similar to Vanta Black. This creates a literal void around the camera lens, ensuring it only sees the road and never the glare. The motorized eyelid. Here is the most futuristic part of the patent, active glare control. Tesla isn't just relying on static plastic anymore. They've designed a motorized shield that actually tilts and moves in real time, which is pretty cool. Using stepper motors and actuators, the car's brain senses exactly where the sun is. As you turn a corner or as the sun moves across the horizon, the shield physically adjusts to keep the camera lens in a permanent shadow. It's sort of like a human eyelid, right? Up and down, that automatically squints for you. This ensures that no matter the time of day, the proton count hitting the sensor is clean 
and reliable. Now, how do you mass produce millions of tiny sharp cones without them getting squashed in the mold? This is where Tesla's manufacturing edge is a bit of an advantage for them. Traditional injection molding traps air in the tips of the cones, making them blunt and basically useless. So Tesla's solution is sintered steel inserts. These are metal inserts that, well, they look solid, but are actually porous enough to allow air to pass through. By venting the air through the steel itself, Tesla can create those razor sharp tips every single time. It's a level of manufacturing detail that legacy OEMs aren't even thinking about. This patent, guys, it proves that Tesla isn't just a software company. They realize that to hit level four autonomy, you have to solve the physical edge cases that software alone can't fix. To have true robo taxis without human drivers and to have acceptable numbers of crashes, as in less than every other car on the road, you need this tech, is what Tesla is saying. By removing noise at the hardware level, full self-driving gets a much cleaner picture at those times when the sun is, well, it's at the basically the perfectly wrong angle. This will lead to fewer disengagements and a safer ride. So, this is the boring engineering that actually makes the robo taxi possible. Now, guys, what do you think? Is this active shield the missing piece for unsupervised full self driving? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so. And I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that.